everyone. I'm um, doing something a little different for this video. As always, though, uh, thanks to the new subscribers that have recently joined, I'm going to try and get back to my regular posting schedule as soon as I can. But uh, I thought the, so the piece I'm working on at the minute is the engine for this car. I thought I'd better show you guys the car um, as it's going to be like the, the channel project in the, uh, in the background. Now, um, this is my 2001 Mark IV Golf V6 4 motion, um, which I've had since about 2014, and I ran it for a good few years. And um, I, I decided to take it off the road because I had one of these, and I've not really got it back on the road. And unfortunately, it's been sat outside, um, not under cover, and the, the British weather's got to it a little bit, and um, it's getting into a bit of a state. I have here a list of all the things, not the things I'd like to do to it. But the things that I need to do to it just to get it road legal again. Um, and uh, as time goes on, there's, there's more and more things going wrong. Uh, the latest of which is the radiator's leaked and dropped all the coolant out. So um, I've got that to do before the winter. Now, I have no budget for this car. And I, I have lots of time, um, but no parts, no, no power tools and no budget. So um, I'm not sure when I'm going to get to get this thing back on the road. But it's um, it's becoming... As, as we head towards hybrids and battery cars, um, it's becoming more and more important for me to get this thing back on the road just to get a, at least one more summer of enjoyment from uh, from the 2.8 uh, before uh, fuel becomes scarce and already expensive in this country. But it, uh, yeah, I need to get it back on the road fairly, fairly quick, ideally next summer, but uh, we'll see. So to begin with, now I'm not a mechanic either, this is the other thing. I'm, 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 I did my first year of, at college as an uh, apprentice mechanic, and I, I left it there. So I know, kind of know what I'm doing, but not, not brilliant. It's been a long, it was a long time ago as well. So I'm a bit sort of shade tree uh, DIY mechanic. So we've got to do all the fluids. We've got to do um, the brakes complete. I've already started on the brakes. I pulled those, um, those out earlier in the year, or well, last year actually. Um, and I need to do all the ABS sensors because there's an ABS fault somewhere, I'm going to start with those, and all the ABS rings. Uh, suspension is a complete rip out, because it's, the car's what, 21 years old now, it's possibly on its original suspension. Uh, radiator, I've already mentioned. Um, we had the comfort control module went, and it's uh, suddenly started working again, so I've got my interior lights back and my power windows, so we can scrub that off the list. Uh, throttle position sensor, because I think that's um, it's running really rich. Well, it was last time I had it on the road. Cam sensors need changing. Timing chain. Um, I'd like to like to do the timing timing chain and the guides, the followers, because I, I suspect one or more's broken and is in the bottom of the engine somewhere. But um, it's that's quite a big job for somebody who doesn't know what they're doing. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do the plugs, full service, the works. Uh, both front wings are rotten, and now the sills are pretty much rotten. So I need to do those. Um, backlights are total garbage. They need changing, and the uh, the boot handle is junk. So that's just for starters. That's just what I know about. Um, I've got a list about three times as long as this um, of what I want to do to it. But uh, oh, tires needs a full set of tires because they're completely dangerous. So um, I got as far as refurbishing the wheels a few years ago. Uh, but we need new tyres. So, yeah, it's supposed to be a list of 10 things. It's actually like 13, 14 now. But, um, yeah, I just thought I'd show you the car and uh, everything that needs doing to it. Now, luckily, if I just turn the uh, the camera around here, everything's original. It's got the original stereo. Um, I've got loads of paperwork for it. The dashboard's in really good nick. It's not split. Um, it's got... Semi sensible mileage on, but if we can um, maybe rework the engine at some point, that would become irrelevant. It's all in, in good order, it's all as it was when it left the factory. And um, the plan is just to keep it as, as near to original as possible, um, but modernize it with better brakes, better suspension, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, that's that's the, the channel car, the, uh, the, the channel background project. 
which I'm going to be doing the odd video on um, because I'm trying to bring in the, the the petrol side of petrol vectors. You've seen the, seen the vector work, and now we're going to do some of the, the petrol work as well, and um, hopefully get this thing back on the road and get it usable. So yeah. So here's the uh, image I'm working on at the minute. I just took a picture of the engine bay, which is filthy, and now I'm just going over. Uh, making some selections. I'm going to do full colour. It's not just going to be line work on this one. It's going to be full colour. So um, that'll be the first time I've done anything like that. Uh, ideally, what I want to do is make a T-shirt uh, with this image on it for for like it'll be my, my my channel uniform if you like. But we'll just see see how it comes out. Uh, I might have to think again if it doesn't work. But um, yeah, that's the sort of the state of play at the minute. Uh, I've got a list the list of stuff that needs doing to the car and um, loads more art projects to do so between the sort of the mechanic side and the art side uh, there should be plenty to keep the channel uh, interesting for you guys um, so yeah I'm going to leave it there um, thanks again for everyone that's, that's recently joined us and um, keep watching the videos and, and leave a comment say hello and I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next video